From the bamboo bridges built by the Badai of Bengo, to the skin art of the Semban, to the Sapai of the Kenya and Sungai Asap, Sarawak's often unseen traditions, knowledge and skills are vanishing. So this one if it's too thick, mm -hmm. the sound is not good. So it has to be at the right, mm -hmm. right thickness. Uh, thickness. Yeah. So then what he does is only after he get the right thickness, the right sound, then he paint, they will paint it up. Mm -hmm. The sape is the traditional lute of the central Borneo upriver peoples, particularly important to the Kayan and Kenya tribes of East Malaysia. Up to seven generations of music are said to be known to the Sape master living in the middle of Sarawak at the Bakun Dam Resettlement Scheme, Sugai Asap. Few musicians remain who can perform the music of former generations and in the style authentic to its forest origins. The Sape master of Sungai Asap is one of those few. When I met the Sape master, he was said to have lost instruments that had been made by his teacher and his teacher's teachers. Unknown generations of instruments handed down from one master to the next were destroyed along with his awards, certificates and recordings in a tragic house fire. The legacy that remains to him and his people are the skills he was taught to both build and play the Sape. The sape, he explained, is played in combination with dance. It is not an instrument to only be listened to, but to be performed alongside during celebration and ritual when the knowledge from one generation is passed on to the next. With the sape master into his 50s and his remaining two students nearing their late 40s, he fears that much of the music he has yet to teach, one student for each generation of music taught to him, will be lost to the Kenya when he dies. In fact, I was told the knowledge that all the elder Kenya at Sungai Asap possess will be buried with them. There are no longer the youth in Sungai Asap to teach. The young were nowhere to be seen. They were in Bintulu, Miri and elsewhere in Sarawak earning the money needed to support the once self-reliant Kenya in long houses they must now pay rent for and on very little land to cultivate that is no longer their own. The Sape master will play for guests and will continue to teach. But as long as the youth remain distant from their families, it is likely that his will be the last sape to come from the forests that were once home to the Kenya of Sungai Asap.